<laughs> Weekend observations brought to you by X Chair. Your body and your work deserve the best office chair in the world. Trade up to X Chair at xchairdlb.com. Dan, they got off to one of the most embarrassing starts in NFL history. Three losses that included three trips to the red zone and a total of 20 points. Things seem hopeless, but with a big home win over a team playing without its two best wide receivers and a coach <laughs> determined to leave MetLife Stadium with a tie, they defied the odds and themselves and Dan yes just like that yes. my New York Jets yes. are back <laughs> <laughs> Sam Darnold please a bunch of garbage stats yesterday see what he looked like against a good team exactly Wisconsin had minus two yards in the first quarter against Michigan I gained more yards sitting on my couch than Wisconsin did playing in the actual game. When Wisconsin is down 10, they should just call the game. Wisconsin down 10 is like other teams being down 40. Jim Harbaugh do it against Ohio State. Good news for the Dodgers. Clayton Kershaw said his playoff status quote doesn't look great. One of the most jarring things I've ever seen is Wisconsin going 68 yards in 16 seconds. Did you see it? Oh, <laughs> 16 <laughs> seconds. Arkansas, you had an exam over the weekend and you got a big fat F. Let Alabama <laughs> that they did. I mean, that was an embarrassment. I mean, yeah, it was uh I believe I, in that team. It, you did? I don't know be, why. <laughs> well, it's because Spencer Hall told them that told everybody they were whomping. Yeah. We fell in love for a minute for Arkansas not being the bottom of that conference. And then they fooled us. Let Alabama and Georgia play a best of three. And let's call it a day. Whoever said this was going to be the best college football weekend ever is a dumbass. Guillermo, put it on the poll. Uh, just <laughs> let's let's have that be the season. Alabama and Georgia, two out of three. Uh, would you sign up? Just wipe out the rest of the season and make it that. Would you sign up for that right now? I think everyone would. I don't want to watch Alabama win twice. By the way, I think it was Spencer Hall who said that. Lane, what, I, what I say, Spencer Hawes? <laughs> no, the, the, the I think the That's joke was is that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is it Whoever Stu said this was going to be the best college oh, football okay. game ever. I'm sorry, I, I forgot. Think it was, yes, yeah, I okay. think it was Spencer Hawes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of college football expert <laughs> Spencer Hawes. <laughs> Lane Kiffin, before Alabama and Ole Miss, told me to go get my popcorn ready. So I did. Yeah, you can't and by the time I got back, yeah. the game was over. Yeah. The Ohio State slither back to the playoff has begun speaking of Ohio State and slither urban Meyer yeah the U and urban stands for oog 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 whatever gross yeah Dan after unforeseen events that occurred over this past weekend I have shocking news I have been forced to change my top five golf shots of all time. This is shocking. I'm sad to say, as I said earlier, Tom Watson out of the sand, 82 open. You've been removed. This is very dramatic. I, this needs the fanfare. This is this, uh, Billy's complaining about uh, these things. Don't have the fanfare. These big moments, you changing your top five yep. golf shots of all time mm -hmm. deserves some fanfare. Sorry to interrupt. That's okay. I haven't done it since 2019. Number five. Larry Mize, 87 Masters, <laughs> playoff, 11th hole, the chip. <laughs> Number four, Jack Nicholas, the Golden Bear, 86 Masters, 16th hole, hit it flush so well, he said he didn't have to look at it. Number three, he knew where it was going. 
Number three. I can't believe there are three shots better than this one. Tiger Woods, the chip at the 16th hole, 2005 Masters. Number two, Mike Ryan, 2019. <laughs> Parkland Golf and Country Club, 11th hole, par three, about 110 yards with a driver. I can't believe this. Stuck at five inches. I can't believe from this. the hole. This is so. You're saying there's a better shot than that. You're not. You're not just saying that Tom Watson fell out of your top five. You're saying there's a new number one. This past Friday, <laughs> on the 10th hole of Parkland Golf and Country Club. On a somewhat rainy afternoon, and after three Bloody Marys <laughs> with his fourth in hand, and after singing the hits into the grip of his golf club <laughs> as if it were a microphone from 130 <laughs> yards out in a best ball match between me and him <laughs> and Chris and Mike on a hole that we were certain to lose, Greg Cody finally swung the club and drain the shot to break his son's heart and have the hole. <laughs> it was the most amazing thing. It never went in the air. It was 130 yards out. He mishit it. Chris was standing right next to the hole, his son. It was rolling up to the green, and Chris gave the look that it was going in, and I said, no bleeping way. With a Bloody Mary in hand, right after he took his shot, Unbelievable. It rolled into the hole, Dan, and we all celebrated. Even Chris, whose heart was broken. All of you were there. All of you. Who was there? It was. There's, there's it was proof me. of this. Yeah, it was me, Chris, Mike, and uh, and Greg. I doubt Greg remembers. The greatest shot ever, and it had the hole. It was so clutch. I remember telling him right beforehand, "Don't swing the club. Just there's no point. We've lost the hole. Let's move on to the next hole." He goes, Stu, I got this. <laughs> no. Singing. No, he's not Joe Burrow. <laughs> I, I, that's that's not how that happened. This, this is another one of your, this is a hammered. whopper. No, yeah, no, no. By, by the way, he told us, revealed to us, showed us the big toenail. It's ready. Okay. I'm cutting it tomorrow. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> exciting. I have no idea if Georgia has beaten anyone good. Florida. Should still make it to the playoff. Here we go. Based on their two point loss to Alabama. <laughs> Matt Corral, look on the bright side. You've already had your welcome to the NFL moment. You know what George's D did, Dan? Uh, shut him out. Yeah, they pitched a shutout. Good. Yeah. Paying attention. Odd to have three teams in the top 10 lose in college football and no chaos. No Zero. Chaos. Okay. Well, because not, well, chaos. I mean, Penn State, Iowa, and Cincinnati is disastrous chaos, is it not? I guess. Uh, old Gunner Schlockshear has to be sacked in the morning. Manchester United, worse with Cristiano Ronaldo. Man, you. Whoever questioned the Georgia defense on the show last week is a moron. I believe it was Spencer Hall. Spencer Hawes. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. What am I doing to Spencer? I mean, I'm taking all my bad takes. That's what I'm doing to Spencer, actually. My bad takes are now going to Spencer Hawes. When Wisconsin is forced to pass, quarterbacks end up in the hospital. Arkansas, Mississippi, noon, Saturday, otherwise known as the loser's bracket. John Ross is a giant. Josh Reynolds is a titan. Sam Darnold can scoot. The Jets' visit to the red zone in the second quarter against the Titans was their fourth visit to the red zone the entire season. <laughs> I hate them, but then I love them. Yeah. That's the relationship I have with them. <laughs> Sam Darnold has more rushing touchdowns <laughs> than the Jets have touchdowns. I hate them. Do you want to hope? You can hope today. Do you want to hope your quarterback had, I a, am your quarterback had a fourth quarter? Yeah, we're your getting to the easy part of my schedule. Yes. <laughs> You're getting ready to get cocky again? I am. Dalton Schultz is a cyborg. So is Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge with the rare walk off and walk in. How about that? Walked into the playoffs. That's right.
Kenneth Gainwell. <laughs> you're, you're proud of that? I had one? to explain yeah, that yeah. to you. Yeah, I don't know so, why I felt so the they, need. So they walked off. Okay, you get they it. walked yeah. off. And There's then layers they to this, Dan. <laughs> yeah. 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 So many Jesus. of them. It's such what a labyrinth. <laughs> Kenneth Gainwell. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to say about Kenneth Gainwell? That's a good name for a running back. Bingo. <laughs> you're good at this. It's also a lot of expectation and pressure, isn't it? I mean, you're named Kenneth Gainwell. You you have to be good as you a have running to back. Gainwell, yeah, 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 you do. Fair enough. After bouncing uh, bouncing around well, the NFL, there was a Greedy Williams out there yesterday, and you know, greedy about turnovers. Which is the better football name at Lebetard Show? Put those against each other. I think it's Gainwell. After bouncing around the NFL, you know what it seems like Cordella Patterson has done in Atlanta, Dan. Cordero. Whatever. Cordero. It seems like he's found a home. The ATL. I, it, that's funny to watch, right? A running, running back, wide receiver, hybrid. Oh, the cornerbacks are too small because he's got a giant ass. And hey, he gets a lot of <laughs> touchdowns for the last little drips of Matt Ryan's career. This is Arthur Smith's proxy for Derrick Henry. <laughs> or Daryl Patterson. And, and, but I mean, he's got a ton of touchdowns. Like <laughs> He's the only one who he's scores good. anything for yeah. them. I spent a good portion of my time from 1 to 4 p.m. Eastern yesterday walking around my house saying poor davis mills no one loves overtime more than mike vrabel ot john franklin myers menace matthew stafford blah 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 hawaii oh, oh, enough of stafford hawaii oh, that's it on uh, listen you want some more sean mcveigh blah 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 Enough of the two of them. Anyway, they, 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 they're in the Super Bowl with Jared Goff, who's terrible. He destroyed the Bucks. What do you mean? What he, has Stafford done? I hear this whole Perry McVay and Stafford and a different Stafford and a different McVay. No, no, it's the same Stafford. It's the same McVay. The same Stafford is good, mm. though. He just didn't have anyone else on his mm, team same in Detroit. Stafford's not making it to the Except Super Bowl. Johnson. They're not making it they to the Super Bowl. The They're not winning they the Super Bowl. They were made the favorites last week. Well, Las great. Vegas made How do they look now? the I mean. Rams the favorites last week. Not the Chiefs, mm. not the Bucks. The mm. Rams were the favorites. That's the money. Mm -hmm. That's that's fairly shocking, is it not? That's that's the money thinking McVay knows something the rest of us don't about what Stafford actually can be in that offense. And you can't game plan for Kyler Murray. Like, Did, I don't care how smart McVay is. Right. There's not a game plan for that. Oh, A.J. Green's a lot bigger than my cornerbacks, and Kyler's just going to run around for a few minutes. And, hey, that's A.J. Green in the end zone. <laughs> like, he's, he's really good. There's no game planning for it. What right. do you do? That... Isn't that what you saw yesterday? You don't make the Rams the favorite because they're not. That's what you do. I mean, was the money watching yesterday? Don't you think the money's changed today? Don't you think there's a new favorite in the NFL? Do you think it's still the Rams? Blah, no, no, blah, no. It's, blah. It's the Cardinals. It's right. Tony's beloved. They're the best team in the NFL Cardinals. I'm not sure how smart this McVay is, honestly. Right, exactly. We're on to you. <laughs> I've been keeping my eye on him for a while, uh, Billy. I, I told you that. I currently have my yes. eye on him, yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. Why is we'll your, you. your eye on him, though? He got to the Super Bowl with Jared Goff. Yeah, yeah like yeah. four years ago. Exactly. Me lately. Living off of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyone can make a Super Bowl. Do it with someone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hawaii. <laughs> Anyone can make a Super Bowl, he says. We've spent 20 years with the Jets, the Bills, and the Dolphins <laughs> not winning a playoff game. <laughs> Anyone can win a Super Bowl. Well, I want a playoff game. I mean, You're the only one. You're. The, I want you guys to understand that the Jets are the shining example for excellence in that division beyond the Patriots. Mark Sanchez was too good to be in that other room we for, were talking about. For 20 years, much too handsome, much too good. It's got to be led by Fitzpatrick. Mark Sanchez is the cream of the division not named Brady. I want you people to understand what we watched last night. It was a celebration of 20 years of shit football in Miami, Buffalo, and with the Jets, remarkably shit football. I heard an interview with Seth Wickersham about his new book about the Patriots. Did you know that Aaron Hernandez and Rob Gronkowski were a response to the Jets? That during an offseason, Bill Belichick sat around going, we need to find an answer for the Jets. I was stunned by that. That's their greatest moment in the history of the franchise. <laughs> Better than the buddy Super Bowl. Ryan and his, uh, not buddy, it's uh, Rex Ryan and his Ooh. fake teeth are all over your television because of those two years that represent the excellence of the division. A coach with a foot fetish. Like, a, a, like look at what Rex Ryan's got to be in the room.
Is Rex Ryan not in the no, room? He's, yeah. No, no. He's Wait, too he, good. He coached two of the three teams. He went to two AFC But he's too good for the room. He's too. So is Sanchez. Yeah. The, the, Jets, the Jets are the, the cream. Not too good for this the, room. the Jets are the cream of the division. Not named the Patriots. Nick Mangold is still getting commercials still, off of this. Still, still, I saw Bart it finally. Mike Seltzer, he's got the like, most oh, amazing agent Nick in the history Mangold. of Hollywood. Bart Scott's got a national radio he's show. He's a center. <laughs> Can't wait. He's a center. Quit giving Mangold commercials. He's How a that center happen? for How the that Jets. How did that for him? Like we, because it's the cream of the division, not named Brady and Belichick. That, like the Jets represent winning in that division that's not the Patriots. That's how bad the division has been for 20 years. Rex Ryan, Nick Mangold, and Mark Sanchez are the cream of the division, not named the Patriots. Bart Scott has our radio show. Fitzpatrick <laughs> played for every team in the division. Bart Scott is part of 10 hours of Jets coverage now on ESPN radio daily. I can't imagine what those shows are today. And Stephen A. Smith in the morning as well. Debatable. I didn't think Matthew Stafford, blah, 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 would generate all this. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was fantastic. Where was I? Hawaii. Blah, 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 blah. No, Hawaii. They did what they do on behalf of college football fans everywhere. Yeah. Thank you for always being there for us. You don't want Fresno oh, State. Cover. Why don't you? Oh, okay, but you don't even want Fresno oh, State. I was They're fun. Did They're you hear my college football record? <laughs> a disputed three and eight. Yeah. Betting Charlotte football. <laughs> that was Char a winner. Big winner. Charlotte over the fight. That was one of his winners. He knows. The 49ers. You <laughs> simply don't know anything other than that about Charlotte. The 49ers. There's simply no other fact that you could give me about that football team. There's not. Not one. We could wait here for the rest of time. We could let him search the internet. He will not find anything about that football team. They covered. <laughs> one of his three wins. Picking 10 games. Why are you picking so many games? I don't know. It's five games a week. Yeah. Who gave you Charlotte? <laughs> Trying to think. <laughs> You're just stealing picks. It, now. Had, it had to. It what, on what, on what uh, other? Who are you cheating with? Who? Well, first of all, how's your record so bad if you're cheating? And how are you cheating? Tell us how you're cheating. What? You're, there's no way you're just picking Charlotte. Is the bear giving you information secretly in the shadows? I think the bear laughed at me when I told him Charlotte. I tried to feed the bear Charlotte. I said I got it from someone on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> we can't, I was texting him during game day. I go, throw Charlotte you, up there. You, do you people not see how dangerous all these gambling alliances are? Stu Gods is in bed with everybody. Can't remember who told me. <laughs> He's going to contaminate all of sports mm. and get us all arrested. <laughs> Tom Brady, the rare time a general won the war before he won the battle. How about that? <laughs> if Belichick had Brady. You know what? That's totally true. It that is. is. It's Usually just, it's the other way around. It's, you win a battle you know first, what? right? It's, uh, <laughs> I hadn't looked at it that way. That was excellent writing. <laughs> Thank you. It's a poignant <laughs> observation. <laughs> I, I am stunned by what just happened. <laughs> that right there is if a thousand monkeys bang on a thousand typewriters for a thousand centuries, somebody's going to write Shakespeare. You, you just wrote a poem. <laughs> You <laughs> Stugatz just took Wickersham's book and wiped his ass with it. You just told the story. Bill Belichick, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brady, he wins that game. How did you start? Read that again, please. Can we go back there for a second? Because I want to I want to sure. enjoy the enjoy the Matthew the, Stafford. The idiot poetry. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Tom Brady. The rare time a general won the war before he won the battle. You like that? Huh? I mean, I, I, mean, wow, I, got I impressed the writer. I, I have <laughs> tears in my eyes. It's like seeing a child graduate. He wrote a, he wrote a proper and poetic sentence. He, he went to the trough where everyone was dining last night, and Sukats is the one who emerges with the pearl. Yes, yes, you told the story. People were watching last night and did not notice that Brady broke the all time passing yard record because of that observation right there. Yes, let's watch General. Brady come in here and conquer Belichick one more time and prove it to him that he oh god that's funny it's just perfect <laughs>
<laughs> it also still doesn't really make any sense. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that doink you heard off the goalpost was a symbolic sound representing how Belichick has handled the entire Tom Brady situation. It did seem to be like a louder noise. It was that came a from the super post. loud. Doink. It seems like the microphone was placed why at was exactly it so loud? the point from the post. You know, it was suspiciously loud in that stadium where suspicious things happen over the twenty years. One of them, not noticed very often, is just how shitty the rest of the AFC East was for twenty years. How did that hide in plain sight that way? Why was that not celebrated? You realize that he got to go in as a general just because the battlefield was littered with losers. <laughs> J.P. Lossman. That's right. <laughs> Fitzpatrick in three different disguises. Nathan Peterman. Oh, my God. They should have won more. <laughs> you think they underachieved. <laughs> the Patriots underachieved. I am with you. I want that take today. Debatable. <laughs> I want that take. You do the poetry and I'll do that. Yes. Our, uh, let's get let's get the viral clip. <laughs> I believe the Patriots have underachieved. <laughs> Witching hour. That was one hell of a ride. Speaking of hell, Art Bryles. Dan, those are the weekend observations.